Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to West of Loathing. Now we're back in Dirtwater because we're tracking down a few other things before we get back on that train. I think we just need one more item and it's some kind of yarn. I don't know where to get it, I don't know how to get it, I don't know what to do to get it, but I'm gonna find out. But first I gotta go through the various miscellaneous side quests that I got going on here. And then again, I just love this game so much, so I'm eager to squeeze every single moment out of it possible, even if some of you aren't. Oh, have you got my knife? Yep, here you go. Excellent. This will work a lot better than <laughs> than that hammer I was using. Okay, I only need one more favor from you. <laughs> but it's the most important. I'm sorry. I <laughs> just ah frick. That's not that funny. I used to have this recipe for a se very secret jerk sauce, but my jerk friend Dave J stole it from me, and then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean, he was buried with it. You want me to dig up his grave? He's dead. He won't mind. Well, okay. Just hand me that hammer that you were using. Also, where is he? I do- did you even tell me where he was? Where- where was his grave? Wait, where's his grave? Is it- uh, I guess I know a many a cemetery, but before I do that, I gotta- I gotta flip-flap around dirt water just a little bit more to see if anybody else is here. You're not in the mood to talk? Okay, alright. Hey Lloyd, need help with anything? Everything's alright? Okay, never mind then. You guys are fine. Guest room is fine. Everything's fine here, so what- what else would possibly need to be here? Huh. Hello? Do you- you fine? Lovely day! <laughs> it is! Lovely day, lady! Alright, see ya. Well, I'll just meander on my way to the various cemeteries that I know. Um, I doubt it would be the petting cemetery, so it's probably Reboot Hill. Because there's a lot of stuff at Reboot Hill that I haven't done yet. That's right. Oh, a pile of bones. Oh no, bang. Okay. Ooh, it's a tough pile of bones. Alright, there we go. Dee dee. Not enough. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, dee -dee 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 Don't worry, it's just being- Oh yeah, there was that weird tree with the keyhole in it! Wasn't there? That was here, right? Yeah, there's a keyhole in the trunk of this key, so why? Is there something for that? Do I need a key for that? It doesn't even give me the option for it, but I suppose when I get a key, I've- I'll find out. Now, either way. Okay, so I don't know about you, but there's multiple plots here. Alright, Shank Weems, we're reasonably sure he's dead. They got it coming- Oh! Dink Scotch Turkison! Drowned in a whiskey barrel. It's what he would have wanted. The ground here seems reasonably soft. What's the- Oh! I got whiskey! Oh! That's nice! I, th I thought I was gonna get a skeleton. Old dead Tom! <laughs> Took us kind of a long time to get around to this. Thanks. He was alive for two- Oh no, he was dead for a while and you just buried him later. Alright, Fred Deeks. Couldn't remember the rhyme about which snakes are poisonous. <laughs> ah, patent emetic. Generald Flens. He died as he lived, screaming, <laughs> a man after my own heart. Oh, I scream so much. Annette Jangle, the first lady bicyclist to ride off a cliff. All right, I got riding boots. These boots are made for riding, but not the kind you're of riding you're probably thinking of. Which kind of riding were you thinking of? I'm very confused here. Lavender Crinks, inventor of the external combustion ended. It's the remains of a picnic. Oh! It's a gothic cameo. And it's an ornately covered, carved brooch with a jet black gem in the center, which, come to think of it, might be jet black because it is in fact a jet. This item goes on your lapel. Okay, I don't need that though. I don't need that spooky resistance. I mean, maybe I will. I'm in a cemetery, so who knows what's gonna be spooking up around here. Also, I just- I just might have remembered there might have been a cemetery over in the other plot, but I'm gonna go through here first. This tombstone is big and fancy and has a door in the front. Alright, open it. Inside there's a document and a weird little metal object. Read the document. The letter describes a tontine, the burial wishes of Chet Busterly in a series of sequence of letters. Bit litter! Bit li bit litter! Okay. Take the object? I got a key- Oh, that's for the thing! Ah, okay. Well, I got a key fragment, but I don't know what butlitter means. But all right, I got butlitter. All right, how about this? Pick that lock. Inside the tombstone is a document and a weird little metal object. Olg. The document describes a ton time, the burial wishes of Sam Feathersmith, and a sequence of letters. Oh, all right. Take the object. Got a key fragment. Well, that's pretty good. All right, crack it. Well, there you go. Read that. Describes a tontine. What's a tontine? The burial wishes of Philip Irongloat in the series of letters. Oh, yeah. Do I gotta write those down? Because I don't feel like writing them down. I mean, I could. It'd be easy. All right, fine. You really, 
pulling the wool over my eyes. I'm, I'm gonna write it down, goddammit. Uh, I, I gotta go find a pen. Alright, I'm back. My guy got a pen and I got a bullshit piece of paper that's actually an envelope on here. Uh, so I'm gonna just, just give me one second. I gotta get the documents back up. Okay, third. Third is. Oh, yeah. That's a T. Ah, shit. Why did I. Why did I write it over there? I wrote it over on the lip. You can't see that, but I wrote it like on the, the ledge, so I'm so goddamn stupid. Come on, shut the fuck up, brain, and work right. O I E H T E. Alright, that's good handwriting. Yeah, helps if I can't read what I wrote. Fuck, why don't I put it? I have a desk here! Why don't I just put it on the desk and I can write? Why didn't I just grab a normal? Why don't I have normal paper? I don't know. Do I have a notebook anywhere? God, I'm just, I, I am an adult. I, I swear to God, I'm an adult. Fuck. All right. Oh, I E H T E. This has been an ordeal, but I got it. Okay, two more. Let's hope they're as horrifying as the first. Okay, second. Does that spell anything? Boo! Thy lalay ig ig. Okay, whatever. I don't know. This is stupid. What was the point of that? Not that. Go away from that. You gotta go elsewhere now. There's nothing over there. There's, why did I write all that down? I got the key fragments. What am I doing with it? All right. Assemble the key. Ooh, a little spit, a little bailing wire, and voila. A tontine key. Voila, indeed. Okay. So, does that go to the, the thing? Xavier J. Hornhog ran for mayor right off a cliff. Ha, <laughs> funny. Lucky Vinnie Pike, bound to run out sooner or later. Ate too many wasps. Oh, Gina Slapradish. You know my slogan. <laughs> Why didn't you listen to me? Hazel Batchley embroidered herself to death. That one guy, you know the one. Yeah, him. Bred Haggins, the most strikingly rat-faced man any of us have ever seen. Stan Rietta Minkleston. Tried to- man, did I try to name all these people? I feel like I had a hand <laughs> in this. Tried to eat a live eagle on a dare. Ground here is relatively soft. Oh, good. Looks like the eagle knocked out all her teeth on its way down. And full loose teeth. Oh, that's funny. Skeleton doesn't seem particularly threatening, apart from being a general reminder of your moral mortality. Uh, hello, who are you? My name's Bernard, but shish! Lower your voice, they'll hear us. Who, the cultists? Shh! Yes! Not a fan? The reanimating dead people's skeletons! I don't want to be reanimated! Sounds horrible! Can you imagine having to walk around without your skin on? How embarrassing. Not to mention the cold! Well, sure, well... Plus, I mean, dying's hard enough. Who wants to come back to life just when you've gotten used to being dead? Right? I could see that. Please, can you do something? I don't want them to find me! Okay, I'll let you know when it's safe. Great. All right, cool. Where are they? I don't see them. What are you talking about? Are they over here? They're cultures. Can I wimble wamble my arm and leg over this way? Anybody? Hello? Ooh, that looks spooky. All right, okay. Pallet Tootsbury. Died of a disease we don't have a name for yet. Ah, based on the contents of the coffin, you'd have called it exploding skull syndrome. <laughs> Great. Perletta Fink. Territorial scoffing chamber. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Well, that's that's peculiar. I seem to have walked into a precarious situation. Don't mind me. I'm gonna back away slowly. All right, I'm gonna charge forward. You're not gonna get past this barrier of whirling bones without, well, making it so there's no barrier of whirling bones. Ah, I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna shoot those bones. Try your pistol and definitely shoot the floating bones into bits that are too small to float. Nothing to it. They didn't even know it hit them. Suzanne Boingstrom. <laughs> God, these are so much better names than I could ever come up with. Buried with her treasured collection of dog ears. Gross. These cultists looks like they're barely maintaining control over that skeleton. Wait a while and see what happens. You hide behind a tombstone and wait. After a few moments, the skeleton rests itself from the cultist's control and goes on a rampage. Bones and teeth fly everywhere, and none of them belong to the skeleton, <laughs> if that gives you any indication of how the fight turns out. Seemingly satisfied with the carnage it has caused, the skeleton crashes something into the ground, and scratches something into the ground, and then shuffles off to the south. Yikes, well, they're dead now. <laughs> Alright, so, cool. Grutch? Why did you scratch in Grutch? The skeleton 
this is what the skeleton wrote. Must be its name. Oh, must be. Oh, black book here. Frightening topics in Nexmax. Ah. Oh. Getting smarter about Nexmax means being able to summon skeletons who are smarter at doing any what you say. Okay, well, I'm gonna throw that into the hole. I'll do that eventually. Fed room. Nothing left but boots and teeth. <laughs> Jeez. Nothing in there but three bedrolls and a single stale smell. Peninsula Wackersley. <laughs> nice lady, but a real unfortunate lady. <laughs> ah, frick. Oh, God, it gets me every time. This is a hastily constructed, very shallow privy. Investigate. You open the door and dig around in the Tetris? <laughs> sure I do. You find a little square yellow paper. You got an item. Sticky note. This is a sticky note with a magic word written on it. Poor security pack. Pra practice. Alright, this is security. Alright, what is it? The note says abracadaver. That's gotta be important. You stick the note into your journal. I should check that out. Okay, alright, read that. Huh. Huh. Oh. Ooh. Ley lines. Hellstrom Ranch. Oh! The Necromancer's Lair. Oh, Hellstrom Ranch. Oh, I've got everything I need to apparently do that. I didn't even know that that was a thing that I could get right away. Oh my goodness, I have that! Well, wonder, wonder, woobie woo. But I also got a key, so I'm gonna see if this is... Oh! Okay. Oh! Secret door opens in the side of the tree. There's a chest inside. Tauntine. This chest was hidden behind that secret door. What's a tauntine? The hell is a tauntine? This chest contains a lone but extremely large gemstone and a document of describing a tauntine, which you apparently won despite not even <laughs> signing up for it. What's a tauntine? Is that a tauntine? Unbreakable root by- Oh, so this is why they formed that tauntine. What's a tauntine? And what's with these letters? I, I have no- LOL? LOL? Why- L What? LOL, was that- I'm gonna write down LOL. Not that I can't remember that, but- ah! I don't get it. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, Dave? Alright, whatever, fine. But- Jeez. Alright, so somewhere around Hellstrom Ranch, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, maybe it's the buffalo pile. I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> that is a very obvious place to go, but I also forgot. There's a freaking Dave yard. He said the guy's name was Dave. I thought of this like halfway through my adventure in the cemetery, and I'm not just pulling that up on my ass, but I'm like, I'm an idiot. The guy's name was Dave. It didn't hit me until way, way later. Alright, Dave B. Dave C. Dave J. You dig up the day gra the gra the Dave grave and pry open the Dave coffin. Instead of a Dave corpse, it contains a garbage Dave. Strange. You reach into the garbage bag and are surprised to find that it's full of pudding. No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? Keep digging. You finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and retrieve a sodden lump from the bottom. Good thing I've been training for this all my life. You unglob the wad and dry it off. Then wash your arm in a nearby ditch. This better be worth it. Dave's secret sauce recipe. Just combine these ingredients in a small pot, stir an abracadaver. Rap hap hap how. Sure, okay. Alright, we'll go with that one. We'll go with that's what that is that that is. Okay. Sure. Alright. And then off we go to wherever the hell we're actually supposed to go. This is definitely not helping me in any capacity for the main quest, but I am all on board. I don't even care. Oh, uh, yeah, I got it. Hey, thanks a million, buddy. Now my slop will be world famous. Here, let me give you a little something for your trouble. It fell in the slop, but it's still good. I got a sloppy top hat. The old sloppy toppy, they call this. All in a day's work, friend. Oh, my God. It's probably terrible. It It's not that bad, actually. Oh, look at me in my sloppy toppy. Oh, let me put a snake skin on that. Oh, where is the, where the hell is my snake skin? I have no idea. There we go, electric snake skin. Not what I was going for. A three to all stats. That's pretty good. To all stats, that's that's not bad at all. But uh, coal snake, three to moxie. Well, I might as well get, might as well get all. If I had to put anything on my sloppy toppy. All right, cool. Did that work? Did it work? Did it work or did it work? Oh, apply to hat. I gotta press this button. Okay. You put the rainbow colored snake skin on your hat and beam with pride. Hey, that's that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Now I'm going to 
Let me go to the buffalo pile because I'm pretty sure that I didn't actually finish all my business there after I broke everything up. Oh no, bang! Oh no, hi -ya. Well, man, Gary, you really need to pick up the nards on this one because you're you're really letting me down here. I wish you wouldn't do that. Okay, shittily do get off to the buffalo pile, and then hopefully in there. Like if I had to guess, well, I, if I had to guess where a necromancer's hideout would be, it would be in a giant pile of bones. Pretty sure anyway. Buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. Yeah. So there's, oh, gr grudge, 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 grudge the skeleton. Garage. And this is all still fused shut. I even asked the developer about this when I was at PAX West. He said there's no way to get it back. So whatever the real thing was, unfortunately, not for me. Not for me. Can't do it. What was here again? Is this just a fighty foo? This is just a fight, right? Yeah, it was just a fight. Shoot nanny! Bada bing, bada boom boom. What? Oh, not bad. That shoot nanny got ups. Okay. Splish splash on you. I gotta get going. Come on. I don't have time to fight everybody. And I don't wanna die or anything. I'm gonna get you with a sh Oh, he'll shoot the pile of uh, brick. Bang! Okay, Gary, you get that one. No, hit him! Ah, you loser. Hurry up. I don't have time for this. Bang! Okay. Now you, Gary. Hi, ya, 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 ya! There we go, Gary, Gary. All right. Okay, cool. Okay, so is there anything else here? Ooh, leave the shells alone right now. Oh, that would probably would be what I need to do if I actually had the 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 scooshy douchey, the the whatever the mixture would have been if I hadn't done the stupid. You know the stupid that I was talking about? Yeah, the stupid. That's what I'm talking about. What is this? What is this? Oh, I need that. Ah, buffalo soldier diagram. There's a detailed diagram of one of those buffalo skeleton human skeletons hybrid things are making a bone pile. He's got an engagement ring and a handful of coins. That didn't help me. Oh, God damn it! Scary stuff. Chanting, shuffling of robes, clattering of bones. Scary stuff. You really shouldn't go down there. Ah, oh, don't tell me what to do. Oh! Well, I'm gonna shoot an of you because I can't miss at this point. Bing, bang, bing, bang, boom! Bing, bang, doop, boop, boo! Ah ha ha! All right, all of you get. I'm gonna kill you guys. Zoosh! Ah, we- Ah, you can't hit shit! Oh, you, you- Ah, well, Gary's gone. All right, well, that's okay, because I got this handled. Watch as I handle this very slowly. Bang! Oh, you got- Ah, uh, bang! Ah, uh, uh, yeah, bang, and here we go, bang! Okay, you're dead. What'd that do for me? You've single-handedly put a stop to the cult activity of Buffalo Pile. Impressive! You pretty much have the run of the place now if you need any bones for anything. You got a perk, unlimited- <laughs> Unlimited bones? <laughs> You've secured access to an unlimited supply of bones in case you need bones for anything. What does that do me? What good is having unlimited bones? What does that do for me? Okay, all right, I'll take my bones. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna look a bone horse in the mouth. I'll, I'll take this bone. <laughs> I don't know what that does for me, but supposedly around Hellstrom Ranch is- so Oh, hi. What? There's a sudden thrilling whoosh sound and a man dressed all in dark gray with a long flappy coat and a gray bandana he pulled up to conceal his face appears before you out of the shadows. He brandishes a wicked looking knife at you accusingly. Stop right there. Prove your allegiance for I'll suffer no cultists in this place. Could you be more specific? The necromancer's cultists, the skeleton guys. I'll show him. I'll accuse the accuser. I'm going to hornswoggle you. Well, now, wait a minute. I'm not the one in the dark cloak jumping out at people. How do I know you're not the cultist? I kill cultists. With what? That evil looking knife? Cause that's no culty- and that's not culty at all, no sir. I take no, their own knives and use them against them as poetic justice. So the masked stranger brandishing a literal cult dagger at me is claiming he isn't a cultist. Hey, this isn't about me. I just got out of here. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. So, any cultists around here? Culty walty woos? Culty walties? No, nothing. Maybe if I wander for a bit. Some kind of crazy skeleton charges at you from behind a rocky outcrum cropping. Crum outcrumping. He's crazier and crumpier than most animated walking skeletons you see because he's got a buffalo skull for a head. Oh, 
Oh, it's one of these guys. Buffalo drank while eyes. Oh, buffalo skin pants. Ooh, buffalo pants. Please don't come off tonight. It's cold. What is that? Is that a reference or something? I have no idea. Also, I just remembered there's something else that I have to do. I have to go over to uh, the Fort of Darkness because I have the outfit to with which to do the. Oh, excuse me. Could you just shoot Nanny away? Hit all of them. Hit all of them. You hit one. God damn it. That wasn't even a. That wasn't even a point to that. All right, fine. You breathed your bad breath all over me. All right, but I gotta go down to the Fort of Darkness because the dancy pant people, pants people, are in the tent over here, and I have not that I have, I have dancy pants with which to do that. So if I take off old sloppy toppy for a second there and put on my Kerfutz headband and put on my uh, my Kurt Kurt's Futz pants. Bam, not spit soaked. I do love my spit soaked, but you know, that's just gonna have to wait. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Ah, Kurtz is still leading his students in an aerobic workout routine. Can I exercise with you? Ho! Oh! 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 Power surges through you. You have unlocked true potential. Kurtzian physique. Turns out that guy's onto something. You really do feel stronger. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Well, that was nice. I don't know if there was much of a long-term point to that, but hey, I got ten muscle. That's not not a bad day. I'll take that day any day. Where's my there? There it is. Ah, my spit-soaked pants. I know. I know. I probably got more. My something skin pants. I don't know rhinoceros, but uh. No, 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 no. I'm done in there. I'm done with I'm done with that. Okay. So I gotta find something here. I'm missing something. I'm missing a good old something something. What am I missing? Well, there's no point in just mulling it over forever. I'm gonna go back to the train and just see what I got. Get, get horns what? An ancient seaweed draped skeleton is shambling towards you, hissing and moaning. Uh-oh. I guess we must be near the beach. Hiss. How do you determine where the desert stops and the beach begins? Hiss. I don't really know how to tell the difference between desert sand and beach sand. <laughs> I'm gonna hornswoggle you. Oh wait, oh my gosh, are you Davy Jones? Hiss? I'm a huge fan, I have all your albums! Can I have your autograph? The skeleton scribbles something onto a piece of paper for you and then wanders off, puzzled. Rainy Jane was really underrated. I got a damp autograph. <laughs> a confused skeleton scribbled its name on a piece of paper for you. Apparently its name is... <laughs> Neat! Coolio! I'm gonna get on a train. <laughs> Excuse me! Uh, well, uh, woo! Okay. So I'm already here. So I've already been through this bullshit. So if I just pop down here, excuse me. No one suspects a thing. Suitably do. Oh, come on! Welded shut bullshit. But I'm already. Oh, I hate that. Don't do that to me. Gadooski. Alright. Scootily do. Do 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 do. Why is it such a pain in the ass to get over here? Okay. Let me just. Alright, I got that guy. Oh, yeah! It's a lie! Snap out of it! Bam! Whap, whap, whap! What? Uh, uh, sorry. Guess I got lost for a second there. Feel better? He rubs his jaw. Well, yes and no. Listen, we're gonna get to Frisco, but first we need to bust into the locomotive up front and arrest a crazy guy. I need some volunteers. Okay, I'm in. If I have to sit here and do nothing for much longer, I'll probably flip out again. Cool. All right, then. Well, neato. Okay, but I don't have a... Ooh, this is what it was. Oh, I didn't even need any thread. Oh, you guys were probably yelling at me. Oh, I'm an idiot. I had everything I needed right away. It was just the horn swoggling. Okay, lie to her. Lady, I don't think you understand the seriousness of this situation. If Norton gets away with this, his power in Frisco will be limitless. The city council won't be able to block his horrible new tax increases. Tax increases, for instance. Well, for a start, he's demanding a 4,000% price hike on yarn. She gasps, outraged. Bad villain! We must subdue him immediately. Cool, I'll shout when I'm ready. Hello! Hello, hello! Hey, mister, did you get- Oh, f that's what it was. I did need something. I am not that dumb. I needed an animal, but I don't know where to get that. I'm- I'm suspecting there might be something, um... There might be something... In- I- I believe there was more to do in Breadwood, and I believe it had to do with some other stuff going to- Open it up! Give me that shit! I believe it had something to do with if Ghostwood in Breadwood that I needed to do. I'll be right back. Do 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 do. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I'm telling that to the other people in the town. I'll be right back. You know, I told you to be right back a while ago. Knock knock, Mr. Fumperdink. I can be a service. 
Geez, finally, I'm here on behalf of Mayor Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in this area. I see. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll just need to review the logging records to make sure there are no disqualifying incidents. Go to the Department of Records. It's two doors down. And tell them I need the Breadwood file pertaining to logging. Is something wrong? Not yet. I'm just stealing myself in anticipation. Wait, she said two doors down, but that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Hello? Mr. Fumperdink, was it? What can I do for you? I'm about to pick up a file in the town of Breadwood. Oh, you want the Department of Records next door. This is the adjunct Department of Records. Ah. Thank you. Hello? Never mind. It's the stable, apparently. Department of Records, how can I help you, Mr. Fumperdink? I'm supposed to pick up a file on Breadwood? One moment, please. Breadwood, Applewood, Annawood, Badwood. Did you mean Bagelwood? No, it's Breadwood. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood, Bestwood, Bitterwood, Bloodwood. Ah, oh, here we are. Breadwood. Which section did you need? Logging records. Hmm, this section has been downgraded from disuse. You'll need to pick it up from the adjunct department of records next door. Of course. Bring it back here when you got it. I'll put it in the official intern department document transfer folder. Is that really necessary? Absolutely. You can't transfer documents between departments without an interdepartment document transfer folder. It's so thankful. Great. Cool. Hello. Can I get a file? Breadwood? Uh, well, these pages are all loose. I can't give them to you like this. What if they blow away? I'm just taking them next door. They're giving me the document folder. It'll be fine. No, 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 no. What if there's a freak gust of wind as soon as you leave here? It'll be chaos. So what do you propose? Well, fortunately, I happen to be the one person in town authorized to- uh, officially authorized to use a stapler. So you staple them together for me? I'd be glad to. But- but I don't have a stapler. Of course you don't. Don't worry, all you have to do is go next door to the Department of Requisitions next door and requisition one. So I'll bring you a stapler and you'll give me the file? Yep. Alright. Hi! Need the stapler! Requisition form. Uh, last name Fumperdank, first name Mumpler, middle name both Danger and Marshall. Danger. What? That's- that's my name! Wasn't it? I don't know, I can't remember anymore. It's been so long, I just- oh. Fumperdink! Momfler. Trouble. Oh, frick, I don't remember what- what's on my- Oh, frick, what's on my identification? Oh, God, it's such a nightmare. Where is it? Where are you? Where the hell are you? There it is. Sneaky! Sneaky! Ah! Fine. Fumperdink, Momfler, Sneaky. Desert Preference. Oh. Why? What does that have to do with- Look, I have two boxes. One says cake, the other says pie. I want- I have to put a check mark in one of them, which is- I- I'll take- I don't- I only like pumpkin pie, but I like pumpkin pie more than I like cake, so I'll go with pie. Ugh. Well, despite that- <laughs> Frick you, man! Everything seems to be in order. I'll get this file. Here's your stapler. Thanks! Oh, okay. All right, I got your stapler. Can I have the logging report? You bet, Kerchunk. Here you go, freshly stapled and wind resistant. I've got to pick up the folder you're supposed to carry it in. Great, cool, great, glad I'm doing this. A knock, knock. How can I help you? I got the papers. I got it. Okay, I got a folder. Oh, great, thank you. Whoopie doopy, I go over there. I have the file. Got the file. Ah, fine, let's have a look. Go for the love of. Oh, no. What's wrong? That idiot stapled the pages together right in the middle. This is why we took his damn stapler away from him in the first place. This file is unreadable. You're gonna have to tell it. You'll have to take it back and tell him to unstaple it. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Administration wants you to unstable these papers. Oh, sorry, I'm only a... <sighs> Try next door. I, I'm only authorized for stapling, not unstapling. Try next door at the Department of Records. I think they have an unstapler there. Needs some papers unstable. Okay, I'm fully authorized to unstable it, so that's no problem. Hmm. Spoke too soon, did you? Well, it's just that I don't have to see a staple remover anywhere. Oh, that's right, the Department of Lib Libations borrowed it. To open beer bottles. Right. Do you have the... Staple remover? Sure do, that thing pops the tops off of beer bottles like you wouldn't believe. So long as it removes staples, I'll be happy. I imagine it does, but I'm afraid I'm not authorized for unstapling. You'll have to take it back over to records. Here you are! The ghost of a stable remover still looks like a weird metal fanged monster mouth, except now it's in ghost form. Now your office job is even spookier. Great. Good. Great. Here. 
No, I need to- where? I don't- I have no idea. Where was I going again? Oh wait, that's right! I need to go back to the Department of Records. The stable. Of course. Here's your table remover. Great, right, let me just- That <laughs> took remembers is up to his old tricks, I see. These don't even need to be stapled. That's what the inner department document transfer folder is all after- for after all. Alright, here you go! Thanks. Screw you, asshole. Here we go! Back to the town hall! Okay. I'm back. I'm back with an unstable breadwood file. Alright, let's have a look. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, I can't see any problem with this. I'm frankly amazed. <laughs> let's get started on the paperwork for that logging permit. I am no longer amazed. Last name, Pumper Dang. First name, Mumfler. Middle name, Sneaky. Okay, I just need to stamp this here. Kachunk and sign this. Scribble and now you sign it here. Sign, scribble. Also here. Sign. And then it's here. Scrib, <laughs> scrib, in here, scrib, sign here, scribble. Good. Now you just have to take this back to the mayor of Breadwood and have a sign on the line and initial over there. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to do that. Oh! Okay. It's fine. Get out of my way. I need to go to Breadwood. Gotta get to Breadwood. Like right, meow. You get out of my face and let me go to Breadwood, and then we're not gonna have a problem. Mayor, can you sign this goddamn form? I think I need a ghost pencil for this. Of course you do. Sign down here and initial over there. After some fumbling with the ghostly pencil, the mayor eventually manages to sign and initial the form. All right, mayor, I'll be back with that permit. God willing. Here we go! Back to ghost. Whoo! 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 All right, I'm back. I got the thing you wanted. At this point, I'm not even sure wh if this is worth it. Alright, uh, knock knock. Hello, Mr. Fumperdink. How can I be a service? I've got the mayor's signature on this logging permit form. Great, just sign the last bottom. Sign the bottom where it says receipt. Something wrong? I loan my pencil to the mayor. Excuse me while I go kill everything. <sighs> <sighs> Ah, okay. All right, we got this. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. Don't worry about a goddamn thing. Yeah, my pencil. Oh, terribly sorry. I think it's haunting my beard. Ah, here you go. Sharpen ghost pencil. Thank you. Back to ghostwood. <laughs> Hornswoggle! Get the frick out of here, you a-hole! God, goob ya! Ah! 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 Ugh. I got it. Sign. All right. That's everything taken care of. Breadwood's logging permit is hereby approved. Processing will take 48 hours. You can pick it up in two days. Well. Excuse you, shut up. Okay, all right. Well, there was something else here that I needed to take care of. That's you, isn't it? I got your picture, and I've got... Nope, I've got nothing for you, apparently. All right, I'm gonna end this episode here before I lose my goddamn mind. So, thank you everybody for watching, and thank you for joining me as I waste my time. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!